28. The following concentrations are found in mixtures of ions in equilibrium with slightly soluble solids. From the concentrations given, we just got to calculate those KSPs for each of the slightly soluble solids indicated. And then we have indium uh, fluoride, ion F3. Now, they did tell us what the concentrations are of each ion, right? Ion 3 plus is 2.3 times 10 to the negative third molarity, and the fluoride ion, the F minus, is 7.0 times 10 to the negative three. If we want to calculate that KSP, it always comes from the balanced equation. And remember, with KSPs, you're always going to start with your solid, right? They did say that it was a solid, a compound, and you're going to break it up into its ions. Now, in this case, they tell you the ions. So that's beautiful. No, no guessing, really. So we have IN, F3, that's a solid. And this will come to equilibrium because we're dealing with K values. With our three, uh, with our two ions, right? In three plus and F minus. Since um, I do see charges, I know that that's going to be aqueous. And now we just have to make sure that it's balanced. I do see that I have three fluorines here, so I have to balance that. So I'll put a three in front of the F, and now we're balanced. So I'm just going to move this to the center. And now I'm just going to say, OK, what was the concentrations that they gave us? Well, the indium was the 2.3 times 10 to the negative third molarity. And the fluorine is 7.0 times 10 to the negative third. So that's what I'm going to put for the fluorine, 7.0 times 10 to the negative third. Uh, it is a common mistake that, you know, you see a three in front of here, so you have to time this by three. But no, no, whatever they tell you is the concentration. That's what you have. So this three is just for ratio purposes, but whatever they give you, that's what you got to use. Now let's use the general formula for the KSP and find out what our formula is, right? It's just the concentration of the products because those are your um, aqueous substances. So KSP equals concentration of IN three plus times the concentration of the fluoride ion, and then just make sure you're raising it to their coefficients. There was a one in front of the indium, right? I'll put a one there. So you can raise this to the first, but that's the same as just not having it, but there's a three in front of the fluorine, so I have to cube that. The indium was 2.3 times 10 to the negative third, and the fluorine is the 7.0 times 10 to the negative third. So let's just plug in the values. KSP equals, we got 2.3 times 10 to the negative third, and then we have 7.0 times 10 to the negative third, and that has to be cubed. Now you could plug this all into the calculator at once or do it in sections. I'm just gonna do it all at once. Let's see if your answer matches mine. So let's see, that's to the negative third, cube that, and then times it by 2.3 times 10 to the negative third. I'm just double checking to make sure that I put in the correct numbers. Looks good to me. And uh, 7.9, 7.9 times 10 to the negative 10th. No units for KSP, and that's all, that's all they wrote. There you go, guys. Hopefully this helped. Thank you so much for viewing the video. Subscribe to the channel if you want to help us out. Uh, you know, you guys have been, you know, tremendous throughout this whole uh, experience. You guys have been so kind in the comments. So thank you so much for that. I really do appreciate you all. Keep studying hard, and I'll talk to you later. Bye-bye.